All right, boys and girls, it is day two here at Palm City Yachts. And we just hopped back on the boat and they are assessing everything for the steering right now. We got the Dometic. This is the new helm. What is this, the 1.7 inch? Uh, it should say on here. It's either a 1.7 or a 2.4. I think it's the 1.7. I think it's the 1.7. Yeah, 1.7. One 1.7 seven. One seven classic tilt. And uh, this is the Seastar assist, power assist steering pump, which is gonna make the steering really nice. It's gonna be butter with this pump in there. It's a nice accessory to uh, have if you have the opportunity to get yes. it. It's, it's super nice. It's going to make the steering super smooth. It's going to have, it's going to make navigating on the water really easy for me, especially in rough weather. Um, and it all ties into the autopilot and all that good stuff. So it's going to be super sweet. I'm excited for it. Right now we're looking for a place to mount it. And normally something like this, you would mount inside the console up towards the front. But my console is pretty crammed. And not only that, it's very thin, very thin console. These pumps are, are loud. They make a lot of noise because they're always working hard. And I've heard it on other people's boats. You can hear it, especially when you're at the helm all the time. You can hear that thing go <laughs> like that all the time. So the boys are thinking that we should put it back here in the bilge. Jensen's trying to assess a spot for it. Yeah, somewhere high and dry. Somewhere high and dry because I do get a little bit of, of splashage back here. What are you thinking, Jens? I don't know. Hopefully, maybe we can get it on that side, up top over there. That would be maybe a good move spot. some stuff around. Maybe stick it over here. You still got to figure that out, but we're gonna pick a good spot for that pump and then his autopilot pump and uh, get all that put in. Smack it in, and go fish. We're gonna figure out a spot. We will let you know when we find it and when we start doing some mountain. All right, boys and girls, this is the old helm. It's coming out. Everything's unhooked. drippage there it is it is sea star um, again I didn't really have problems with it but we're going to an upgrade something smoother this one wasn't extremely smooth I had a lot of air in my steering and even when I would bleed it on the ram and bleed it here it still wasn't at the best it could be and we're going to the best of the best with the medic and I'm super excited to do so and uh, we're gonna bring you guys along for every step of the way all the installation and then the sea trials. Lining everything up, lining the template up for the new helm. We got Jensen back here. Putting in the power assist pump. Found out this is probably gonna be our best spot for it to where we'll still be able to get the lines on nicely and not have any pinches or any areas where it's gonna get too wet or too much moisture. So Sweet. we're yeah. gonna go ahead and put this in and uh, we got Alex up front about to cut the hole for the uh, new helm, the tilt helm. Got a little dub double team action going on. Yeah. You need me to hold that while you screw it in? Oh uh, yeah. All right. No, go. you should be all right. You sure? Yeah, I got the bottom two drilled, so Let's see if we can. That's where she's gonna lay, boys. That's where she's laying. My rod holder's right here. Right there. Obviously, when it's rough out, I have overspray dripping underneath the rod holders, or when I'm cleaning the boat or I'm spraying down the boat. Right there, going right onto the power assist pump. Not right over it, um, might get a little overspray. Again, I don't have a crazy amount of room and access to mount it in this boat. Of course, it's not designed to get wet every day. It's not gonna get wet every day. It's gonna get a little overspray, but I would think, I, I, and I would be pretty confident that this product, you know, it's obviously made for the salt water. It's made to, to it's, it's sealed and made to not have salt water get inside and corrode and break everything. And, but we are gonna spray some 656. Yeah, corrosion inhibitor. Corro corrosion inhibitor on, on, uh, on the Sea Star pump just to resist any anything from starting that doesn't need to start. All right, so we got the helm hooked up. You see, this is where you can adjust it. Boom. Move, move it around, Reach. I got the GoPro in my hand. What do we got? It's old action. Ooh, you want it there? Now I want to up a little bit. Oh, look at that ram. Come down a little bit. A few, a few different spots wherever thou want it. Putting the, the cover on it. Oh, this is the nice one, but you just like rads. Yeah. Probably martini. 
everything's pretty simple to hook up you guys you're you um you just follow the instructions and if or if you've ever installed anything like this and obviously it's gonna be straightforward it's just cutting the whole size and then every everything's pretty easy to hook up yeah, but follow the template it pretty much tells you what you need to be doing exactly for some of you guys that want to do this on your on your own you know order the dometic stuff online have it shipped to your house it's cheaper that way or if you want to come into palm city and have them hook everything up you can do that as well but at that point at that rate you might as well get a new suzuki as well a fresh suit can't hurt all right jensen is going to show us how he's hooking up all the steering lines Right now I'm just putting some fittings on this line here, making all the uh, fittings and hydraulic connections for all the steering, the autopilot, the uh, helm, ram, all that good stuff. All that important stuff. My old stuff was actually leaking. Yeah. yeah. Probably because it wasn't taken in the right measures to uh, hook up correctly the first time. Not like old Jensen's doing here. No. Nope. Doing it the first time, doing it right. No leaks. No leaks, no tomfoolery. No tomfoolery. <laughs> no swank johnery. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> Not at Palm City Yachts. Nope. You guys do come to Palm City Yachts. You gotta ask for Jensen and Alex. They're the crew. They've been grinding out on the boat. They practically have the boat done in a day and a half. And uh, they're almost done hooking up the steering. And we're super excited to put the boat in the water. Yeah, we're pretty stoked to see what this thing's gonna do and how it's gonna ride and stuff with the new 200s. I'm gonna have to ask John too if uh, Jensen and Alex can take tomorrow off and come kingfishing with me and Reege. That's the plan, so. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Might, might, might get a decline here. We'll have a word. <laughs> there that you go. That is it. And then you plug that into the bottom of the helm there? Yeah, the helm, all every, all the fittings we need for hydraulics, so that's going to screw on too. Sweet. So we're going to make a few more of these. What are you going to make? Four of those? Six of them? At least ten. Oh, smoke. Yeah. So. All right. Well, you probably don't want to see ten of those. All right, boys and girls. It is day three early early mornings nine o'clock and yesterday jensen and alex would have been done but we ran into a problem with one of the bolts and needed needed a tool that was locked up in a toolbox anyways everything's done jensen walk us through what you did all right guys so early this morning we went ahead we put the steering ram on we got its tournament series tie bar on from c star we bled out the steering nice so it steers like butter and Looks pretty fancy as well. Yes, it does. Sweet. That is that is unreal. Why don't you show them how she steers? Down, down per hour. Turn the wheel for me, Reach. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth there. And uh, the boys put the pump back here. Now turn it, Reach. And you can hear it a little bit not too bad at all it's really i thought it'd be louder than that yeah no it's not too bad it's not bad at all and it's in that back hatch room. especially when the motors are on and you're running the boat you're not gonna be able to hear that at all playing a little bit of music and uh everything looks gorgeous and we are gonna go drop the boat in the water any minute here the boys are dialing things in and whatnot we're gonna go drop the boat in the water i want to say a huge thank you to alex and jensen at palm city yachts they did a great job on the boat they grinded it out and um, hopefully everything goes smoothly and we don't have any issues going forward. If you guys would like to do a repower or if you need a service done, you need work on the motor, whatever it is, come here and Stuart at Palm City Yachts and talk to these two gentlemen and they will handle and square you away. This is a look from the back. She's gorgeous. And we are gonna go ahead and start off with Suzuki props, three by 16 by 20. And if we can't get to that 59, 6200 RPM range, which we should be able to, we will come off the pitch a little bit, but we are about to go run it right now. We're about to go run it, John? Yep. Let's do it. And uh, we might have to mess around with props a little bit. That's pretty standard. That's a boat. And there's no getting around that. But you know, who, who, who knows? You might get lucky on the first time and there might be the props that I need. We are gonna go drop the rig in the water. 
moving weight, baby. We're gonna go drop the rig in the water and uh, see how she rides. All right, Jensen. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna go over what we did with the steering here. So we had to run three new lines from up to the helm, back to the autopilot pump here, or the power assist, my bad. And then we teed this line off here for the return line. We had to jump that over to our autopilot pump here. And then we ran uh, the two lines coming out of the power assist pump over here and teed them into the lines going into the autopilot and then ran those to our steering ram back on the engine here. Came out pretty good, steers nicely. I'm sure Adam's gonna be thrilled to have the power assist and everything. And uh, yeah, I hope he enjoys it. I'm definitely gonna enjoy it. Hopefully we can take these boys fishing this afternoon. The rig, we're going to put her in the water, baby. John's backing us in here, boys. We got the rig going in for the very first time here. First start on the motors. They are freaking beautiful and quiet. this later later hi boys we just put the boat in the water boys and girls we just put the boat in the water and everything is going smoothly the motors are extremely quiet the steering's quiet I, I can feel I can literally gave it a little bit of gas when the boat wanted to jump on plane like I, I think it's gonna come out of the hole in a second and uh, I think we're gonna be scooting I think we are going to be scooted. We're just going to shy those motors. All right, we've been breaking in the motors for the past 30 minutes. Now we are at about 22 to 2,500 RPMs. And uh, this, this should be our last break in, or maybe we have one more after that until we can run the motors. Just, let, just letting everything ride out here. And the boat definitely wants to come off, come off a plane. Look at it. All right, we're going for our first run here, boys. This boat got on plane with nothing. I was at 3,500 RPM getting on plane. 
All right, we've been running the motors for the past hours, breaking everything in. We are gonna give it a wide open throttle, going with the current. It's flat calm, going with the current. We're gonna see here, boys. I'm gonna give it a negative trim and uh, pop out of the hole here. Ready? Ready. Film the motors, Reed. Not me. under 6,000 RPMs, we were going 45 miles an hour. I don't know what the fuel economy was, I wasn't looking. 1.8? Was it? Yeah. Was it 1.8? 1.6. 1.6, 1.8. Going 6. 6, going that fast. Uh, cruising at 30, cruising at 28 to 32 miles an hour, getting 2.3 to 2.5, which is, which is what I wanted, which is what I'm happy with. Um, yeah, and uh, John, do you think I'd get better fuel economy with different props, or if we take a pitch so. off? I think those are the right ones. You're getting yeah. the right RPMs, and uh, it's cruising right along where it's supposed to. Everything did feel good. Uh, the, I mean, I, I could have gotten 6,500 out of them, out of them if I kept going, right? No. It would have stopped at what? Stopped. Yeah, stopped, stopped at, at 62, 6,200. 6, yeah. So we were about 300 R RPMs away from. Um, wide open and we were going 45 so i think with the right with the right conditions and everything trimmed up we could probably hit just about 50 miles an hour if i could have let it going i had to stop um obviously i'm never going to need to run that fast in this boat i just want to be able to cruise comfortably and not have to run my motors really hard every day uh yeah that that was a successful sea trial i believe my jack plate also isn't the best um, economic wise I think we are going to switch out to an Armstrong bracket in a few weeks or so I think Armstrong is going to make us a bracket we're going to smack the Suzuki's on an Armstrong and uh, yeah huge shout out to my buddy John over here from Palm City Yachts thank you so much John Anytime. they did a great job on the boat um, his guys worked super hard everything ran smoothly no issues at all uh, they never took any breaks. They were grinding it out 24-7. Everyone from Palm City is super friendly. If you have any questions, you can go in and ask. If you want to buy a motor, Palm City Oxen Store is the place to do so. And John is your guy. Go ahead, walk in, talk to John. He will get you squared away. And uh, we are going to see you guys offshore when we're fishing. All right, boys and girls. It is this afternoon. And John let us steal the boys from the shop. We got Alex, What's we up, got guys? Jensen, Yo. and we are catching some baits right now. Got a couple sardines in the well. I'm gonna set the GoPro up, we're gonna catch some baits. And it's gonna be a little windy this afternoon, but it's still gonna be beautiful out. We're gonna catch some sardines and go king fishing. But I'm gonna set the GoPro up. All right, boys and girls, we got a nasty friggin' storm rolling in. Not what we wanna see whatsoever. All right, Reach? Hopefully this blows through, we can go out and fish. It's gonna be very rough offshore if this storm stays like this. Can you get that piece of weed off my reef? And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not liking this, guys. I'm not liking this. A little sporty out, but Jensen, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Might just give the GoPro to Jensen. I don't know.
really splendid conditions today for Jensen and Alex. Wish us luck. You a little wet, buddy? A little bit. Oh boy. Terrible storm we got coming. We're gonna chug eight miles an hour, put her in autopilot, and we're gonna let her ride. Autopilot? Hey, talk about some talk about some serious critical time for steering. It is very rough, it is windy, it is raining, not good condition. And this new power assist pump and the Garmin Autopilot work like best friends. And I, boys and girls, we have been chugging for the past 40 minutes or so, and we are on our way to the King Grounds. We finally got out of the storm. There it is back there. I want to say a huge shout out to Dometic for sponsoring the channel, sending me the steering. It is a huge difference. Uh, my old steering couldn't, my assist pump could not keep up with my Autopilot and it, it just wasn't big enough. We couldn't keep up with it, especially in rough weather like this. And we haven't even moved an inch off of the spot that that we are running to, and, or chugging to, I, I might say. And everything's so smooth. I'm really happy with it. If you guys are looking for some fresh steering, especially in rough weather, it, it is a huge help. Go check out the Medic. I will have a link to their description box below, in my description box below. And we're about to pull up, start fishing. Sorry, I didn't do much bait filming. We were trying to get it done quick. And uh, boys are stoked. Yep, we're a little wet, but we're having a good time. A little wet, but we're about to run out there. You have a snack in the aviary, I took over, otherwise, we'll be cut off. Jensen's got one on, boys. Home City Yachts, Alex has got one on. Alex Sistical, man. Pharmaceutical Alex. There you go, Alex. Good job. Oh, oh. cut you off, Reed. Cut him off where we got sharks. I don't know. It looked like a cut off to me. Me and Reed. Me and Reed. Get him, get him, Jens. Cast him behind the motor. More hooks, more hooks. You got the leader, Alex? Uh, it's not looking like it. No, it's okay. Just tie the hooks on, it's fine. Just straight to it? Yeah, it's 50 pounds. You have two, right? Yeah, we're in the back. I got 19, that is. Where's the full of crowds? Where's the crowding? Dude, so fast he came to the hiz. 
Dude, what was that? You thought you lost him again. Yeah, I was a Careful up right now, boy. Alex, is the bait not swimming? Cast him behind the boat. All three of us lost our fish. I got sharks. Kind of ate it like a scrappy king. Not quite like a king. No, it's king. Okay. You got to set the hook hard, gentlemen. Like yeah. Yeah! We're in the game, baby. What do we got? Crop this one in. Got one on here. Jensen Beach Bowers is falling. He's got a nice one on. Dude, did you see that GoPro grab midair? They're off the edge. And it's got a nice fish. I might need a gap right here. Let me know when you boys need a gaff, gents. Put it on your hip there, gents, and you're going to get slapped if you do that. Put it on your hip and leave your rod tip in the sky. So you can just constantly chump on them. Reach! Reach is tight. Reach, coming back. Nice fish. Really? Yeah, I'll put my tip on you. No, 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 no. He's in love with you. Was Long reach. Holy f woo! <laughs> Watch out for your feet, baby. Get to beach reach. <laughs> that was on top, too. Alex, grab another bait. Playing your dog, grab another bait. bait. When you grab them, cast them as far as you can behind the boat. Uh, I de-hooked them with my leg. He was swimming at you. Keep reeling. Jensen, what are you doing? Watch how quick I'm gonna get eight, you guys. Don't throw that head in the water until we're done. Alright. Damn, a nice fish, too, man. They're huge fish. Is that your fish right there? Yep. Hold on tight, Jensen. What? You lost them? All right, boys, we're, we're putting together a couple fish. I don't know, what do we got? 20 something? Probably like 22. Something like that. Something like that, probably close to 300 pounds are pretty nice sized fish. But uh, the sharks are just absolutely terrible. We'd have over 50 fish for sure. And you just catch a quarter of the fish you hook, man. It's, it sucks, but you guys have a good time today? Yeah, we're having a great time. Alex? Hell yeah. I'm glad John let the boys come out and pull in a couple fish. They get to see how bad the shark problem is for us every day. And, uh, I get to see the fresh soups performing great. I'm gonna fish it. We're gonna fish a couple more baits. We have like this is our last drift. Sun's practically down, and uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna see if Prophet Siskel Man can can be a prophet from Elijah. He won't read. There it is, boys. There it is. Not a sharky. Smile for me. Smile for me, Jensen. Can you see me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right boys and girls that is it for today i think we got around 25 fish um i don't know exactly we were going to count later at the dock boys there's no idea how nice these motors are no idea let me give you a little little run back action
draining the slush right now, boys and girls. Fisher rock solid. Very nice. Like 12 15 pound fish, not huge, not nice. A couple 20 pounders in, in, in the mix here. All right, boys and girls, that is it. We got about 300 pounds of kings, and uh, me and Reese are gonna unload these fish. Boys are gonna go home. I'm gonna watch the heat game, and we're gonna take a dub tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later.